Fewer than one in 100 Southern Canadians have ever seen these waters, and they are important to Canada and also to the entire circumpolar world. There's some power out there. There's the, you know, and if you spend enough time and you're receptive, you, at some point or another, you get a connection. The river's everything. The river's the highway. It brings all the food in the summertime on the barges. There's only one of a kind in Nessa Mackenzie, and it has an effect on the climate. It has an effect on the global water currents as the water pours in into the Arctic. Many of its major tributary streams start far to the south. And so what we see is that dams in British Columbia, activities such as oil sands in Alberta, or pulp mills on the Athabasca, these things have enduring influence on the river. Water is the gift of life. Water is what sustains us, every human being on this planet. For me, what's important about the Mackenzie is that there are people here who still live traditional lifestyle and they have an intimate connection with the land. The effect of that large flow of water northward profoundly influences so many elements of what it's like to live in Canada. The Mackenzie is Canada's cold Amazon. I am here to tell you a story about a mighty river. It's one of the last rivers where we have a chance to get it right. We all need to get it right. These rivers connect all of us.